Yo. What is up, second mother lovers? I got some things I need to talk about, and I want to talk about it now today because people on Facebook, y'all have lost your mind. Uh, us. How y'all doing, second mother lovers? Okay, okay, okay. So, I know half of us, everybody named Mama is on Facebook, and it's a lot of things that I'm about to talk about. Some may rub you the wrong way, others you're gonna be like, Yeah, shut the TV, read these people, they right. I'm about to go in. So there's a couple of things that I feel like maybe we need to talk about because clearly Facebook has not given an etiquette rule book on what is appropriate on Facebook and what is not. So let's go on and get into it. First things first, if I post something about love, relationships, status, you doing this, somebody stole this or whatever, don't sit up there and all of a sudden send a subliminal response to my post because you, your ass is a woo woo woo. You a hit dog and you didn't holler because you are all of a sudden assuming that my post has to do something with you. Why don't you add me and then ask me or message me or something, especially if we friends. Don't be sitting up there thinking that everything I'm writing is about you. Sorry, dog. You're just not that important in my life. First day of school. There's rules to this shit, isn't it? I know, I know, you're so happy. Little man, man, and poop, poop, they going back to school for the first time. Okay, you're given one, two, three days max to post pictures of man man's outfit, especially a little man man wear a damn uniform. There is no need for us to see the different type of tennis shoes you are making him look stand out ish and whatever. Post his grades, we may want to see that instead because showing us every single day that he's going to school is his 17,264 day left in school. He's doing so well. Show us how he's doing well. Talk about his accomplishment. We are overseeing him. I am going to mute you if you post four pictures of the same outfit with a different bow red in the little girl head or some different tube socks. Three is enough. I'm just saying. I ain't got no children, so I guess, I mean, no, three is enough. Why are we friends? If you ain't like adding out nothing on my page, I really have to question, why are you even on my page with your lurking ass? You just sit up there watching what I do and whatever, and then all of a sudden, if I'm sitting in a group talking about something, all of a sudden you say, oh yeah, I remember seeing that post. Well, I don't remember seeing your ass like it, so why are you on my post if you're not liking my stuff? Boot scoot and delete yourself so I can block you. Speaking of deleting, if you do get petty and you feel in some type of way because you think that that post that I posted 17 days ago was about you and you decided you mad at me and you're going to delete me, but now all of a sudden you thought about it and you realized that you was just probably on your cycle and you feel in some type of way, but you feeling better today, so now you want to re-add me? Mm-mm. There's no backseats. You don't get to come back in to my Facebook life. Once you delete me, that's it. Y'all know Facebook and the kid, that stuff gets serious. Now, some people, I may not even notice you deleted me for like a year or something. But once I do notice, nine times out of ten, I'm a Virgo. I'm going to block you. I like to warn up people. Call me Petty LaBelle. It's cool. So, Facebook, along with a, a lot of other social media sites, has just become just the uh, open. I can post anything I want. Eh, wrong answer. You are given the right to post whatever you want. But... Uh, okay, if you get into an accident or you didn't hit your toe with a hammer and it's all pussy and bloody, we don't really need to see it. I think that instead of picking up the dirty ass camera that probably have more germs to the toilet seat, you should probably pick up some alcohol and clean out your little pussy ass toe because we really don't want to see your gory ass disgusting toe on Facebook. Now you want all this attention and then everything. People said, oh my God, oh my God, are you okay? You going to the hospital and you just write, I'm good. Then why you post a little ugly ass toe in the first place? Rules to the rip. Rest in peace, rest in paradise, R-I-H, rest in heaven. If you see to somebody that looks like they're under the age of 40, you know, this day and age they have passed, do yourself a favor before you go talking about, OMG, what happened? How about you lurk a little bit, give people some privacy and some respect, and don't be sitting up here asking, how did the person die? That is so rude to ask how somebody died. Just lurk like the rest of us and figure out what happened and then be like, you know what, I'm so sorry. Condolences to you and your family and move on with your lurking ears. Ah, uh, if I post a picture of what I'm doing, that whole no invite thing, I know your number. I know how to get in touch with you. We Facebook friends or whatever. If you weren't invited, though, it's no need to say no invite. I mean, there are chances that I do sometimes forget people because I am older. I'm not that much older. I kind of am pretty good with knowing who I want to invite to certain things. So, it's no need for you to say no invite. Unless you're somewhere in a different, like, city or state or country. Then I get it. You being funny. But if you're right in the same city and I didn't invite you, chances are they want your ass there. 
Now, I know a lot of y'all are real fa uh, messy on Facebook, and that's okay. But remember, the rules to being messy, according to Newman and Associates, screenshot first, read second. Because people get in their feelings, they post all this stuff, and then all of a sudden, 13 seconds later, they're like, You know what? I'm going to delete that post because I shouldn't be writing stuff like that on Facebook. Too late. They in the screenshot heaven. You ain't never getting them back. So you better be careful with what you about to post on Facebook because guess what? I guarantee you at least six people, the messier it is, the more people didn't screenshot at your shiznit. So think twice about posting your stuff on Facebook for real. Thirdly, with that rule, if you do get screenshots, share the well. You got my phone number. I want to see screenshots and entertainment too. This one may be a little sensitive for people, but I'm still going to touch it. Touch. With that being said, I'm going to talk about this. You and La Cienega and uh, uh, Lamonte and all y'all, y'all done got into an argument. So you decide that you're going to run to your diary, eh, Facebook, and post everything that's going on. You want to talk about everything that he got going on, everything that she got on, got going on, whatever. How he got funky breath, how his underarms are tart, you know, after 6 p.m., all of that. Think twice before you sit up there and post all this negative stuff about a person that you are with. Because things, again, going back to the screenshots... We probably already got them screenshots. And now when y'all get back together, we're looking at you like you're stupid. So if you don't want people talking about it on Facebook, simple. Don't post it. The more private your life is, the better anyway. Okay, as Facebook and social media has come around, we're starting to see that we are um, surrounded around a lot more um, slow and dumber people than we realize. With that being said, um, there are too many apps, too many squiggly lines, too many things to let you know, danger, danger, you are approaching stuff that you are spelling wrong, you're using in the wrong context and everything in between. So before you do that, phone a friend, contact Google, contact Wikipedia, whoever, before we looking at your post and saying, why she post that? Did she proofread it? Because guess what? We're screenshotting that too and we're going to talk about your ass. Speaking of words, it's your. Y-O-U apostrophe R -E. I know sometimes you like, I was rushing, so I forgot the E. Well, you forgot the apostrophe, too. I know that you're saying your. I need you to understand that that is your dog. You're able to come to my house. Did you get it? Okay. So, I've already talked about that in my Facebook Live, that you need to know what word you're using when, especially if you're trying to read somebody on the post. <sighs> Please get a proofreader, because... You just look dumber. Can you stop posting everything you buy? I'm really happy that you got the 34th Jordans that just came out yesterday and that you stood in line for 14 hours and 22 seconds, but I like to see major accomplishment, positive things, all this stuff on Facebook. I'm not trying to see every time you buy a bracelet, even if it's from the dollar store or whatever. Like, you do not have to post every single thing that you buy. Now, if it's something that you're really happy about, you've been trying to get, you know, whatever, you like, oh my God, guess what, guys, it came in, whatever. Okay, go on. But you only get once a month. I don't need to see every single thing that you bought. Like, I know your whole wardrobe. So, guess what? When I see you, I'm like, she wore that already. Chances are you ain't even wear it, but you didn't post it on Facebook. So, that's just like wearing stuff. And speaking of posting stuff on Facebook, just like you posting stuff, we've seen it, especially if I liked it. Before you decide to wear that outfit, again, with your Homer Simpson looking ass, you may want to go back to Facebook and Instagram or Snapchat or something and figure out when was the last time you posted yourself in that outfit because we see you. We see you in that little dookie green brown shirt and them damn jeans. Like, stop trying to reverse it when you wear glasses or you put on a hat this time. We see it. Shirts are $2.99 at the grocery store because you can get shirts at Fiesta. Uh, you got somebody that got something somewhere. You ain't got to wear that same shirt and if you do change it up wear it backwards flip it inside out put a star on your chest wrap something around your chest do something shit you know what pissed me off when people be on Facebook talking, you know what it's just social media is not that serious actually it is social media is now the way of life either get with it or get off of it because guess what people really do determine a lot of stuff on social media there's a lot of things that happen on social media before it even hits the news a lot of times the news is reverting to social media to see what's going on in the world so they can come back and talk about it on the news so yeah social media really is that serious and if you're just downplaying like oh my god it's not that serious then get your ass up off of it since it's not that important to you Go back to watching the news and reading the newspaper. And then when we already on the next uh, story, 17 days later, don't be mad at us when you sit up there talking about it. it's not that serious. It is. All of us know that if certain people delete you on Facebook, it's a problem. So guess what? Facebook is that serious. The people that be saying it ain't that serious. Why she delete me? what I do to her? Hmm. It's that serious. Now, I had a whole video about Facebook Live. Facebook Live is the devil for some people. Some of y'all don't know what the hell to do. Y'all are so social media dumb that y'all just want to be like, Well, since the button is there, 
I should just go live and just show people myself and working. If all we can see is your chin and that's all you doing, y'all please, if you are on my Facebook thing, I did a whole video on going live. You got to really ask yourself, if this was somebody else, would I really want to see them in the grocery store? Would I really want to see their chin while they typing or whatever or talking to their boss or whatever? If the chances are no, like no one's interested in that. They, We really are not. Like, if you notice that you went from one viewer to six viewers back to one viewer to none, yeah, you should go down disconnect. Facebook Live. Like, it's just etiquette to this stuff. Like, it's just certain things that we just do not have to see. Like, I just feel like sometimes social media just lets you have way too much access. Like, I feel like if there's something funny going on at work or, you know, whatever, you know, you had a party, you know, you want us to see, yes! Go Facebook Live. But if it's just nothing, you just sitting at home and you just watching TV, I don't want to watch TV with y'all got my own damn TV. I know there's a lot of rappers, poetic people, comedians, I'm on, you know. It's a lot of different people advertising, they, you know, they uh, new earrings they selling, they got a new hair product they got on the market. I get it. Right now is, I mean, this is the, the blow of entrepreneurship. So people got their businesses. However, you need to go to advertising one-on-one -on -one to see how many times you should really post something. If I click on your page on your Instagram and all I see is the exact same post, I'm going to delete you. Because you're not doing nothing. You just use it for advertising. If that's the case, get your business page and do what you got to do. And then advertise. But there has to be some time in between you posting and flooding other people's little timelines. I don't want to see, you know, Pink Pink in concert or whatever tomorrow. Tomorrow, come out, come out. And you know what? Speaking of which, with Pink Pink being in concert, if she is in concert in Michigan and I'm located in Texas, why the hell are you inviting me to something that's tomorrow? Especially if it's in Italy. What am I going to do? You think I'm really about to hop on a plane and go to your show or go to somebody to see these people when I wouldn't even see them if I was in Texas? Stop inviting me to your events that are not happening in my state. I ain't coming. I'm going to decline them all and then I'm going to block you. I just got one rule. You can do whatever. I know that Facebook is part of the free speech. You are welcome to post anything. The thing about it, the rule is that if I don't like what you're posting, I have the right to walk past your, I mean walk past, scroll past your post and be like, she's stupid. He's stupid. I don't want to see that. But one thing I will not tolerate is that you will not bash Beyonce. Automatic delete respectfully declined, deleted, blocked, and all in between. You are not going to mess with the Queen Bee. I'm sorry. Say what you got to say. I don't give a damn. Don't mess with my girl. Don't talk about it. If you got something to say, you need to go on and delete me now. Because, girl, I'm going to get to you first. Petty LaBelle 1, Petty LaBelle 2. You are out. I know I talked about rappers and all of us. You know, we do our advertising. But there's certain things that shouldn't be advertised on Facebook. That being the sale of drugs and guns. Um, I get that when I said the entrepreneurship, you know, world is booming right now, especially, you know, amongst African Americans. I'm understanding that, however, um, you, you selling drugs, that's, that's, that's not a business. It's not a legal business. Um, you have to come up with another way to advertise what you're doing. Like, do you understand that the feds are watching? There's a song about that, about the feds are watching. That's because they are watching. So I need you to be smart when you post stuff. Let's not post if we're selling drugs on Facebook, guys. Now, sometimes there's public posts. People go on there, you know, Depending on how many people start watching this video, there's going to be people just probably going to bash this video. And that's what people do. You know, it's these internet thugs or whatever. This is the rule. If you will not boldly say it in my face, don't post it. Don't write it. Don't comment it. Because, see, I'm crazy. I will find your IP address and I will come slap the dog shit out of you respectfully. Like, so, what I don't get is these little internet bullies where these people know that they're not going to say this stuff in, face, in your face. If you don't like what somebody writing, scroll. And if you want to like disagree with them there's a respectable way to do it you ain't got to sit up there talking about i hope you die while you jumping off a curb and sit up there and i hope you choke on a piece of bread with your ugly ass like why you gotta be so disrespectful and so hurtful on your thoughts like you ain't gotta say all this stuff like seriously bring it on down delete yourself from facebook for a second have a time out kumbaya and then come on back but you don't have to be so aggressive in comments or whatever like your opinion is the only opinion that matters if you don't agree with something and you don't feel that your opinion is going to be respected by other people or if you don't care you don't get to curse people out if they don't agree with you you don't i'm not gonna curse you out i'm gonna curse you out if you sit up there and come for me like you know me that's what i'm not gonna do. i've been threatening so many people with their ip address you, you think i won't come to like michigan you think i won't i'll see you in conroe on the third block you think i won't try me
If you just open up your Facebook page, I'm going to need you to get your people up. If you only got three people on your uh, Facebook page and none of them are in common, and also you had your page open for 13 minutes, I don't know who you are and I don't know who sent you, but you ain't getting up. Get in my page. Hell off my page. Get on. Home of the liars. You know, one thing about social media is that you can create this beautiful, lovely story of what your life is really like. But the thing about it is, is that there is somebody that's on your page that probably knows the truth. So you may want to think twice about posting these lies about what you're doing and you balling out and you this and this and that. When there's somebody sitting next to you like, bitch, why are you talking about we in a deserted island where we just sitting up here at Taco Cabana and they just got a little teepee? What are you doing? Like, I... I just, for me, for the life of me, I just never understood it. Don't be acting like you're doing it big when you're only doing this medium. If you're only just doing it on a medium level, respect that. Like, medium is still good. Like, you ain't got to always be acting like you balling on Facebook because we ain't going to respect your medium game if you sit up here trying to act like you big. Like, stop it. It's not cute. And we're laughing at you. Because we've all caught it. Because guess what? Those screenshots we talked about earlier... Whatever you perpetrating on Facebook about is is being passed around. Probably right now as you're watching this video, you're like, oh shit, too late. We got the screenshots a long time ago. Yeah, we already have laughed at you and all your fake foolery that you got going on. We get it. You got a nice car. You got a nice interior. It's real nice and little blue blue look real good when it's clean. Every time you get a car wash, we do not have to see how clean your car is. If you get a new car you want to post it, going on posting that's a huge blessing homes are blessings new apartments that's all good blessings but we ain't got to see it like all the time like the exact same thing over and over and you want to change the angle of the car like look look she looking good we saw it in the last post thank you i'm just gonna keep liking the same stuff huh no I'm going to delete you. And if you're one of them people that watch some of them famous shows like, you know, Empire and Scandal and Power and uh, Grey's Anatomy and the haves and have-nots and all this stuff, some people don't have the same work hours as you. Can you give them 24 hours before you sit up there? I like to watch my stuff on DVR. So now I'm on Facebook punishment because half of y'all are doing play-by-play. -play. You need to get your little group on the side or at least warn people so I can get off Facebook so I don't have to sit up there and find out that damn. I was so damn mad that y'all sit up there. Oh, I don't know which one of y'all gave it away. And they was like, yeah, all these memes came out about when Holly was killed. And so by the, by the time I watched the episode, I'm like, when the bitch gonna die? So um, just give us a chance. You know, some of us are old. Some of us are slow. It take us a little bit time to get to the sun. Just wait a second. Damn, give us 24 hours. Oh, my God. I do not want to play any games with you. No farm games. Stop inviting me. I am pretty sure there are so many other things that I forgot about about Facebook etiquette, but this is just to name a few things that I see. And uh, another thing, if things are just too personal or whatever, um, we get it. You a woman, you cramping, oh my God, take your uterus out. We get it. We get it. Um, that's actually funny to me, so I'm okay with that. Some people may not be okay with it. I'm okay with it. Stuff like that don't bother me, but that stuff, I just need people to think twice about what you post. Anyway, y'all. This video is definitely long enough, and remember to think before you post. As always, <laughs> this video, I just said it is long enough, it's okay. I'm out. Y'all see my shirt? Yeah, you just been schooled at Trinity University. I'm out. Facebook etiquette is that you should share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm just saying.